Tonight, some people are calling for D.C. Council member Charles Allen to resign. Yeah, the group that launched the recall effort says Allen has not done enough to curb crime in Ward 6. Our Melissa Kim reached out to Allen for an interview and he has not yet responded. But she did talk with a couple who joined the recall effort after a scary situation unfolded outside their home. This video shared exclusively with WUSA 9 shows a few dozen teenagers fighting right outside of John Tyler Elementary School in the Capitol Hill neighborhood on October 30th of last year. Just steps away from the home that Ned and Jen Squires have lived in for more than 20 years. There were just kids like doing roundhouse punches at each other and pushing each other over. The video captured by their 16 year old daughter prompted her to rethink her Halloween plans. It's incredibly scary. She didn't want to go out for Halloween because of that. Since then, the couple says crime in their area has only increased. Their neighbors have noticed too. Everyone we know has either known someone who's been robbed, someone who's been carjacked, or they know someone who's been carjacked. I, it's, it really is just one degree of separation. They say their direct neighborhood representative, Ward 6 Council Member Charles Allen, hasn't taken any noticeable action. He's doing safety walks. And I'm like, that's crazy. You know, 274 people were murdered in the city last year. We went to war with Spain back in the 1890s over an explosion that killed 266. And you know what? Our, 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 our governance here is doing nothing about this. So now the Squires are part of a group of citizens that launched a recall campaign on January 1st. The recall committee has raised at least $56,000 from more than 400 donors. And on Tuesday, D.C.'s Board of Elections issued an official petition for Allen's removal. His policies have led us, you know, as he was head of the Judiciary Committee, basically to having more criminals now on the streets and, you know, less cops on the beat. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do at this point. We just really want some sort of plan of action. We want accountability from our leaders. We want people working every day on this issue.